What's going on everybody and welcome to the RC Retro channel. Just arrived in the mail, the RC10DS. Let's get this open and see what we have. Now, I'm gonna say one thing, that this is a little bit bigger of a box than all the other prior boxes. And I've heard of a couple horror stories with people's shipments getting crushed or damaged a little bit as far as the box on the inside. But there is plenty of room in here. And this is the RC-10T and it came in a box that is probably no bigger than the actual box, which is why even my RC-10T has a couple dents in the box on the inside. But this one, Plenty of room. There you have it. The RC-10DS. Okay. So I want to just make this a very, very quick video. So let's slice these factory sealed stickers and open this up. There's another one over here. Check out what we got. I'm going to keep this video pretty simple to the point unbox the ds take a close-up of everything do a little video montage and call it a day I'm gonna finish wiring up my kyosho phantom over here and then as soon as i get that done i'm gonna start building this so what do we got in the box right well of course we have the rc10 ds body what is this? a thunderbird body i think it is I had to double check, let you know for sure. But uh, let's see, what am I going to be doing? Am I going to be doing box art on here? I don't know if I'm going to be doing box art. I'm not really a fan of the box art. I do like the body. Got to figure out what we're going to be doing. Hold on. Hmm. Alexis, yeah. are my stickers over there on the table? On the table. On the table. Yes. See, when you shoot, you only got one take when you do an unboxing. You need a little help over here. Thank you, love. Hello. All right, get out of the camera. All right, anyways, so we have over here a little Melly Yellow action, and I was thinking about maybe doing it. I know it's not a Chevy body, but whatever. Whatever I want to do, right? So I might do a little Mellow Yellow on here, and my wife is now standing behind the camera making faces at me trying to get me to laugh. <laughs> That's not going to work. All right, it just did. All right, let's see what else we got. We got some wheels and tires. So you have the chrome wheels and the gold insert tires. Let me get a close-up of these in a second. But take these out. The rears are wider than the fronts. So here are your rears and here are your fronts. Smells good. Not a Tamiya tire, but still smells good nonetheless. All right, and then we have all of our bits and pieces. So we have our rear bulkhead. This is bag D. Got your rear bulkhead in here from what I can see. Your hubs, uh, your, your arm mounts are in here. Get that all laid out on the table for you. Got your bag B right over here, your bumper, and your body mounts are in here. Probably the best bag in this whole box. You got your everything in here to build your stealth transmission and your motor plate and uh, your gear cover in this bag right over here. So that's nice. Got your shocks, gold shocks. I wonder when they're gonna come out with like the gray uh, Teflon coated. I think they're Teflon coated, at least the gray shocks. But everything so far has had the gold shocks on them. So your battery and your battery retainer. Servo mounts are in there as well. Let's see, all your black ball cups. Mm, bag A, got your 
front and rear arms and a whole bunch of your other little plastic bits and pieces. And then you have your black pan with RC-10DS laser etched into it. And that's really a nice thing right there. I think it really finishes it off nicely. I think it's really cool that everything that they're putting out comes with laser etched on there. And also your holographic sticker right over there, of course. Not numbered, but again, RC-10DS, it says anniversary. So everything that they're putting out has one of these holographic stickers on it with the name of the RC, whether it's the RC-10, RC-10T, RC-10DS, everything is laser etched. So for those vintage collectors, it's you know a way to keep the market safe that people aren't just taking these black pans and then trying to pass them off as originals. But again, these black pans don't even have the stamp in it. So that's another way you know that it's not one of the originals from back in the day. So that's pretty cool. Very nice. Very nice finish on here. So nice, 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 cool. All right. So we have a couple other little things in here. Got your stickers. And of course, you got your dual sport um, branding on here. Um, not really a fan of the box art, which you see right here. Uh, but they do give you these RC-10DS neon stickers like back in the day. So that's pretty cool. But again, I think I might go with the mellow yellow. Putting myself on the spot right now. Like now it's like expected I do this. So <laughs> no, anyways. But yeah, nice. Everything fit in here nice and easy. Um, of course, you have inside the box says Associated Electric 60th anniversary right in here um, as far as presentation very nice on the outside of the box and of course when we do a follow-up video for the build we'll talk a little bit more about the history of the RC 10 DS and its features and get right into the build and then course there will eventually be a running video to get some action footage of the RC 10 DS all right so just uh, want to let you all know what arrived to the channel do a quick unboxing and I'm gonna finish up this project over here then get this started so you will be f seeing a build video out shortly of this all right so I'm trying to close this not even closing I'm just going to leave it like that. All right. Well, thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in my next video. Take care now. Let's go, let's go.